Okay, it's beginning of round six. So I think I should really uh, pause before I make a move and actually assess the board <laughs> before we're just starting to record because it's been a few sloppy uh, sloppy moves from me here. I think we're it's very likely we're going to win still, but I think um, yeah, I think you should be aiming to play as sharply as possible at all times and not just skating by. So yeah, definitely could have been better this game. Um, I'm lacking on artillery. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I will do two more here. Get a few more artillery on the field. Um, I think we should keep pushing because they've got so few. They have got ground troops, but they've got so few. I think we could afford to be a bit more aggressive with uh, our infantry in Asia. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Good, good, good. Okay, let's push you up here. Spread that out slightly. Um, I'm going to keep everything back here because we don't necessarily need to block any tank blitzes apart from... Even that we don't need to block, to be fair. Let's pull it back. I'm just going to make sure we deploy into Russia because if they do have potential to take Russia if they get very greedy and sack some planes, but that would be a terrible move anyway. I think I'd welcome that to be honest. <laughs> Clear out all the Japanese Air Force. Anyway, um, that's good, that's good. Uh, let's move you forward as well, actually. Yeah, get everything moving forward. Well, maybe not, actually. We don't need. To... Germany's sort of turtling for now. We could push out to Kazakh, maybe. And threaten some, you know, a bit of pressure down here with combined with the, the UK pressure. Let's do that. Could even go heavier here. How much did we just buy? Eight units. Hmm. The UK is nearby anyway to reinforce. Should we need to? Put one here to block the blitz down. No, I don't need to do that, that's fine. Let's go six to Kazakh, why not? So 215, 163. Increasing the gap. Germany's got quite a big move here. I'm not sure what I'd go for here, to be honest. They've got a lot of trading to do. And they've got only three planes to do it with. So, it's a bit more risky. I think, honestly, just try and... I'll just hit the carrier with the sub. and Just just, just the sub alone. Because if it gets a hit, the, these these two planes can't fight. It's, if it, it's essentially a 50-50. So, if they get, you know... If he gets a hit here, all three of these die, which is a big misplay from me. It's two fighters down the drain for no reason. I'm hoping we get lucky here. And I'd use the rest of the planes to trade. Yeah, one, two, three, but we shall see. Okay, back for UK six. So I've done a quick purchase here off, off screen. Um, the UK has got a bit more cash than usual to spend, which is quite nice because of this uh, push and obviously the East Indies, but <laughs> this, this will be over by uh, this round, most likely. Uh, so yeah, six infantry, one artillery, two tanks. We've got enough for a fighter as well, even with some tank purchases, so I'll also make the most of it while, we, while we've got the cash. Um, just thinking what to attack here. I think I've, I'd rather. Yeah. We could still keep going for France. But then again, it'd be nice to get some pressure or just do some troops to kind of contain Japan. Because Japan's really weak right now. And they're struggling to expand quickly at least. So it'd be nice to get some troops around the back again. Um, I do technically have enough to cover both seasons. I could do maybe a two attack on France and send some more guys up north, maybe. Northwestern's too strong. Not gonna, not gonna go for that. Um, I can do Baltic states with just the troops I've got on the ground. Hmm. I'm also wondering what to chase with here. I, I, 
Could attack with two tanks. I'm going to do that, actually. He, he did kill my uh, carrier in 15, which is just so, so bad. <laughs> That's such a waste of two fighters. It's terrible. Um, yes, yeah, so that's very bad play. Anything I can attack here? Not really. Could try and kill. Hmm. No, because he's got no. That's that's bad. Just try and kill everything. Why not? Um, and because we've got no fighters left. Screw it, let's just go for it. Try to keep harassing him in front. Okay, that's good. We will take uh, Malayans up. Yeah, while we can. Because he is... Any more areas he's got to ship into is good for us because he's, he's really trying to get get some ground presence now and he's got a lot of things to deal with, so I'll take my layer off him. Um, this is a, a bit of a gambit, but I'd like these guys, these two inf well, infantry and artillery, to move backwards towards India because we are a bit low here, to be fair. We have been expanding pretty rapidly. Um, so I'm going to probably pull... He's gone north because of this dead zoning of Kazakh, so, which makes sense. Um, but I've just got to be cautious about... Yeah, giving in him odds on India, which he may have sooner. She may just drop straight into uh, Burma here, to be fair. But we'll, we'll react to that when he does. Anyway, um, I think that looks good. So hopefully killing uh, yeah, 10 German infantry here. Good. That's pretty good. Nice. This is probably a waste of... That was really good as well. Oh, no way did he get two hits back. <laughs> that's crazy. Damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. So I've got to send an infantry up to pick that up as well. Damn it. I don't think the... um. That sucks. I don't think my... US transports can safely sit next to Morocco with a bomber in Germany, I believe. Been pretty sloppy so far. Come on. We're dead. Okay, we took it just a bit more costly one of light. Poland. Come on, threes. It's terrible. Good. When my internet catches up, there we go. A bit late that run, but still, we've got it. Okay, dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Probably a waste of tanks, to be fair going straight into, because they, they will die, but I guess it makes it a bit more of a, a commitment taking it back. Um, let's move you guys over here. Put the entire fleet in eight. Um, yeah, 13 is not safe to put a Put a transport from the US. I've got to send one guy up here to pick it up, which is annoying, but there we go. That's the way it is. Uh, where can you go? Maybe here. So I've got UK troops nearby to trade with the Japanese, should we need to, which is nice to say Russia. The, uh, the trouble. Send one guy up there as well. Try and hit down here somewhere. I'm just going to put one infantry in every single one of these provinces here. Just to be super annoying. Yeah, I need to be a bit careful how much I'm sending forward actually here. Because what he could do potentially now is bring all the fighters back in range. Drop what he can do. He may even skip that, which I don't think he will. But he could he could drop everything into Burma. In fact, that's a, that's quite a serious threat actually. <laughs> I have to pull back here. Because if you moved everything, that's eight units. Eleven. Plus one, two. Yeah. That would be quite a hard hold, actually. We'd need to throw in all the fighters nearby and things like that. I think we could do it, but it would just be a bit of a hassle. So let's pull back. 
preemptively. Yeah, I think for now his priority is just going to be taking back East Indies and all of this stuff, probably, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get on. Um, all I can do, I think. Yeah, let's go here. I feel like I might need a round just to kind of drop some more guys up up north, possibly, and not trade. Oof, 50. That's what we like. 51 in the bank to spend. That's for the UK, that's fantastic. Nice. That'll be a good round. But we are lacking troops overnight, so it's going to be rush, purely Russia trading the central Europe provinces now. Um, yeah, we've got nice troops everywhere at the moment. I think we just need to gather some. We need to bulk up the, the US now. It's round six, so we, stuck, we should be landing. After we've dealt with this stupid Alaska situation, we, we can now start, I think, massing numbers on the mainland with the US, which is what we need to do. So, yeah, we've got some presence here. Yeah, I think we just. You, Get the fleet back. So we dealt with the, the fleet in the med now. It's just another thing that delayed us here. So bring the fleet back. We'll go maybe Finland because there's, there's no pressure here. So we can just roll troops through Finland nice and easy and just start massing troops. So that should be good. Economy wise, as it stands now, which is not an accurate representation of the game, but still 50, which is way more than we'd expect. But 41, 33, which is nice. That's good. And then, yeah, we're, we're dominating here. So looking good. Okay, US round six. So done a bit of a build here. Um, I think it's time we get up to sort of, well, start working our way towards maximum transports for the US because we need to get, yeah, troops on the ground in the mainland. So I'm going to go for Finland, I think. Just the easiest and simplest route. And I think I'll probably, yeah, head up there with the, uh, the UK as well. So I've done four and two, which will support these three transports. Uh, so we'll be up to ten. And I can fill these seven as well with what I've got remaining in the uh, United States. So I think we'll get to 11 or 12 transports, depending on whether we put something in Norway as well. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Kind of need to try and close this game out a little bit. Is Germany still hanging in there? Yeah, the problem is not having any uh, massive uh, load of troops for the US. There's still a... Uh, yeah, need to get our numbers up. Do we just kill the sub? One, two, three, uh, yeah, let's kill it, let's kill it. And these guys can just stroll on past. I'll we'll try and get them into the uh, field over here. Not that we necessarily need them, because we they only have three planes, Germany, but still. Anything better we can do with this fleet? Um... I'm not really here. It's tempting to put them in 33. Because <laughs> they can hold in 33 for just a, a hot minute. While the fleet's actually out of range. But then beyond that, we don't actually have much attacking power, to be fair. So that wouldn't be the best thing. We're lacking, to be fair, we're lacking a lot of fighters as well. Given our uh, <laughs> our battle in the med. So we don't, yeah, we definitely don't have much attacking power. They've got enough here to really, yeah, screw us over. So I think we just pull back. We just pull back. Uh, any other attacking moves I can do? Not really. I'm going to put the tank back into India because I think we're, we're we're prepping here for some kind of big assault. It feels like so I have everything available uh, that's nearby, including this fighter as well. Okay, let's do that. I should have enough to secure Alaska finally as well now, which is a good thing, because I'm sick of having to trade that. <laughs> Deal with that. It happens in some other games as well. I think it's it's a very common thing it seems to be in like um, the silver rank, because the majority of the Axis players in silver seem to go for this Alaska move, which is just so annoying. And again, it doesn't. it's not a good move. Again, I've, yeah, I've repeated it. It's not a good move to do for Axis. It's just, it slows the game down for both sides. Uh, right, let's put you into India, let's put you into India as well, and you, these guys, um, yeah, I might as well put down as well, why not, let's grab you, you, so we need 14, 13, Okay. What's 
the map, no. Just delete all these, they're all irrelevant now. Okay. That's good. Yeah, we've got a surplus of uh, ground units in the US, but we can obviously, as we ship things out, we can, actually to be fair, while we've got a surplus of ground units, we can buy some more fighters just to replenish the ones we've lost. Because we've got two carriers to put them on here, so we've got a nice landing zone in three if we want to. So it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, four, wherever you want to go. So it's quite a nice little spot to fly over fighters. Just clear the notifications. So there we go, that's uh, round six for this game. Final count on round six, 208, plays 171. Japan have taken the lead economically, which is to be expected, but Germany's struggling. And these two are holding steady for now. Though this will change every in second. Most likely, anyway. It's nice they only got three planes because it's going to minimize their uh, uh, trading efficiency. They'll not be as quite as. They'll throw more infantry into the trades, which will they get the, get the territories back. So, yeah, we'll keep sitting on them with the uh, the Russians, hopefully. Um, I kind of want Japan actually to go for to go for India because it makes we can just funnel our defense right down to India. We don't necessarily have to worry because again they've got very few troops still heading to Russia, which is great for us. Um, so I'd much rather them go for, go for India. To be fair, it's much easier to, to hold. But anyway, there we go. That's round six. See you back for round seven.